Hello everyone, this is NS6677. I hope you enjoyed my first ATCS video. This video will show you how to set your own default. So whenever you first open up the program, it will go to the screen that you have as your favorite. Plus, also, I will show you how to bring up ATCS using your phone while out in the field doing train watching and other things. Okay, if you already installed the program, and I, I actually I have the ATCS monitor thing at the bottom, click it, open it up, let it open. As you can see, I have it to the Altoona Johnstown area. Note that whenever you first install the program, it will not pop up like this. You will still have the Metrolink Orange subdivision. So if to say you have a route that you like, like I have here, I have the Harrisburg division up. To say you want this to be your main screen when the program first pops up, go to go to the ATCS screen here. Go to File, Save Profile As, and right here where it says ATCS Mon Configuration Settings, double click that, and see now it saved it. Now I'm going to close the program, but the first thing I want you to do first is go to Options, General, Save Settings on Exit as well as minimize the system tray. Just say you want to minimize this right here, which I'm going to do. It'll pop up, see it pops up here. Just double click it and see it reopens it right down here. So it'll minimize the system tray right here. So now I'm going to close this program. Like I said, after you hit save settings on exit, you know, just make sure that you hit apply then OK and then close the program close all windows see it says it had the little saving thing pop up click that again and see now instead of having the Altoona screen pop up I had the rock the uh, the Harrisburg division screen pop up it has the Morgan branch Harrisburg line Pittsburgh line as to Rockville and Mary right now Next year, Banks and Cannon will have ATCS, so you'll be, be able to see out to Cannon, but right now you don't only see out to Rockville and Mary, and possibly, I'm not sure about the Buffalo on having ATCS, but I'm going to show you, like I said here, it pops up, this is your main screen here. Now just say you're out in the field, and you want to view... Uh, ATCS on your phone. Unfortunately, you cannot have ATCS on your phone because, like I mentioned in the last video, it is a window based program. So, what I do, what I personally do is I have, I use a program called Team Viewer. It's a free program and you install this on both your computer, your Windows computer, and your smartphone. And basically, go to download Team Viewer, and you know select Windows, obviously. You know, down download the newest program, and you download this. So you let it just download. Even though I already have the program on my computer, I will be happy to show you guys. Give a couple seconds to pop up. Please close. Yeah, see, I already have it. But once you download the program, it will install and put a link onto your desktop, as it has right here at the left side of the screen. Team Viewer 12, as it is the newest version. So I'm gonna pop this. This is basically what it will, it will look like here. It'll have your ID number. But right here, I'm going to sign out. So let's just show you. You, 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 uh, you register your email, your current email address, like this is my current email right here, and you, you, know, you put a password that you want in, and like I said, you download, you put this program on both your computer with the ATCS, 
along with your smartphone and once you do that you'll be able to control and, and look at your computer from your smartphone your, your computer can be hundreds of miles away or even across the country and you'll be able to look at it depending on of course if you have cell phone service or not but I'm going to re-log in again this, this is pretty easy and just say every so often if you want to check for a new version go to help check for new version see your version of yours up to date simple as that so that 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 is that is very simple to do I'm going to minimize this because like I said like I mentioned in the other video you can also buy a Windows tablet I know they don't have too many of those but but like I said mentioned before ATCS is a Windows only based program so that's the only thing that you can do with that but other than that I believe that is all you need to know like I said if you have any questions just mention it or comment on my video with a question I'll be more than happy to help you out you have a great day everyone